In 1798, Mirabeau B. Lamar was born in a town near Louisville, Georgia. When he was young, he discovered reading and educated himself by reading everything he could. In fact, he was so smart that he was invited to go to Princeton University, one of the best universities back then and still today. He decided not to go to school and instead started some businesses and eventually was elected to be a state senator for Georgia. Tragedy struck when his wife suddenly died of tuberculosis. Mirabeau needed to get away from his house because everything reminded him of her, so he went to visit friends in Texas. Once he arrived, he discovered a new love, the great state of Texas itself. He loved everything he found here, and after he heard about the Battle of the Alamo, he knew what he had to do. Immediately, he ran to join the army to help Texas fight for freedom. During the revolution, Lamar became well known for his bravery and quick actions. He was such a great soldier and hero that eventually he was named the Secretary of War and during the first elections in 1836, he was made the Vice President of the Republic of Texas. Two years later, he was elected to be the second President of the Republic of Texas. Being a leader is a really hard job, no matter how big or small of a group of people you are leading. Texas was very poor and no one but the United States recognized Texas as its own country. Not only that, but the United States didn't even want Texas as a state. To make things even worse, there were constant threats of war with Mexico and Native Americans were attacking villages inside the state. Do you think all of that got Mirabeau down? Nope. He faced these challenges like he faced his challenges as a soldier, head on. Once he was done being president, he left the Republic of Texas in a much better place than when he arrived. Some say that his greatest accomplishment was when he set up the school system in Texas. He remembered how important it was to learn as a child, so he wanted more children to have that chance. Thanks to his actions, Texas still has some of the best schools in the entire United States. For that and many other reasons, Mirabeau Lamar is remembered not only as a president of the Republic of Texas, but also the father of Texas education.